how to put photos to your iPhone. So let's assume that you want to put your photos from your vacation to your iPhone to show it, show them to your family or friends. So we've got an iPhone and a Mac, but the process is very similar on the Windows. So let's uh, go to photos and see how the things are looking now. You've got camera roll, so all photos that you made with your iPhone and some other places. And uh, in this tutorial we will make a situation when you have your photos on your iPhone uh, transferred by a cable without any iCloud or stuff like that. So to start you have to have installed iTunes. So I've got it already installed. So let's go to iTunes and you need to connect your iPhone to your computer. As you can see I've got it already done. So the first step is to locate this little button here uh, because then you will have photos option uh, that you don't have here. So we've got it right there you have photos so let's go to photos and let's check this sync photos now you need to check um, and select the place from where you will pick your photos so let's copy here choose folder and I've got my photos in the documents so in a vacation folder so let's check it and uh, you can select either all folders or selected folders so let's select folders we've got two folders in them so let's check only the control uh, folder so let's click done and uh, it says that it will make some changes to your iphone let's hit apply it's syncing you can see the syncing process in the upper part of your iPhone this little two arrows that, that they are spinning down here so let's leave photos for now and let's wait for, uh, for synchronization to finish and then we will check the situation on, on an iPhone As you can see, it's creating a backup, so it can take a little, little while. So let's see how we have uh, photos in place. We have got uh, this locations folder, and we get Cancun and Amster and some loosely inlined photos. And so the situation of on an iPhone. Go to photos, let's check it now. Nothing's changed because we are still waiting for synchronization. Oh, it's backing up, so it, it will take some time. The main advantage of this option is that you don't need any internet to do it. But photos will take some space of, on your iPhone. So if you have uh, an iPhone with small storage, then you won't be able to put as much photos as you want. And the only way to delete them will be to unsync them through iTunes. Because uh, many people forget it that it's they won't be able to delete them through an iPhone. So if we go to an iPhone here, if we check, uh, select some uh, some photo, we've got this trash can here in a lower right corner, and you won't have it on on an, in this uh, folder that we are creating now. Uh, through this thinking process so 
so basically you will be stuck with those photos and you have to you will need to unsync them through iTunes and there is a possibility that you will lose these, fo these photos from your iPhone if you sync your iPhone with another iTunes so don't think of an iPhone like a, like a place for storage for safekeeping those photos because you can lose, lose them very easily and uh, well I've seen some sad situations where when some people lost their photos because someone was trying to give them uh, his photos from another computer and he basically overwritten their photos on their iPhone so uh, be careful okay so process of backing up is almost over let's wait for a little while well it's quite important to have your backups so I usually not recommend unchecking this backing up backup, backup option because there were some situations that uh, this automatically created backup saved someone's life because th there was a place from where we could uh, recover their photos so that's why it's better to have this backup option option turned on But it takes a lot of time, as you can see. The backup is all over and we had this process of synchronization done. And uh, when we go to iPhone, we've got new photos from this folder. So you can go to photos you've got camera roll and it's not changed as you can see and here you've, we've got Cancun and uh, as you can see free from my Mac so they are not from this iPhone they are taking this space but you cannot delete them you can just just uh, see them so if we want to add another folder let's go back to iTunes uh, to iPhone uh, to photos and let's uh, select this other folder also and let's click done apply and it's syncing or maybe not so let's just quit iTunes and let's start this process once again we've got iPhone photos they are both checked now Done. Something somewhere went terribly wrong. Okay, so let's unplug iPhone. Let's plug it again. Oh, thank you. Click photos, we've got this check. Let's just sync. And now when backup is over, you can you will see syncing process. So you will see it here. Well, it should be quite fast, especially comparing to backup. Oh, it's preparing to sync. Let's keep in mind that we are doing it for three photos, not one, not two but three photos and 
I think that you doing it for I don't know at least 10 minutes and that was it <laughs> that's all you can go to iPhone now and as you can see I've got two additional uh, uh, folders Got photos from Amsterdam, and we also cannot delete them as you can see. We've got we don't have uh, this trash can option. So, if you want to remove them from from your iPhone to leave some to create some space, um, you can go to photos and uncheck those two folders, click done and it will be synced that's the faster option or at least it should be and now it's synced let's go back to iPhone yeah I know and as you can see we don't have them on our phone so if we were to delete our delete our photos from our computer before that we will we will lost them so that's why I said you to be so that's why I urge you to be careful okay so that's the uh, that's the easiest way so Let's sum, let's sum it up, uh, you just go to iPhone, go to photos, ch check this option, select some photos you want to sync, click done, click apply, wait for synchronization to finish and then you can go to photos and you will see your new albums. quite easy thank you for for watching if you have any questions please leave them in the comments we always appreciate your thumbs up and stuff like that see you in the next one